Hey YouTubers, Grimmy here, and this is the video review for the uh, Bandai Sprue Kits Halo 4 Sarah Palmer figure. Um, if you have been watching the uh, Grim Customs, you may have noticed me building a model kit of an action figure, and this is the figure I was building. Um, Commander Sarah Palmer of... Uh, from uh, Halo 4. I forget the name of the ship she was actually in charge of or partly in charge of but she is a Spartan commander uh, like from a new Spartan initiative. Still, she is a nice figure and a fun model kit to build. Um, do tune in to the Grim Customs uh, series to watch me build her and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy that but let's take a look now this is there's no paint on her uh, she's just molded plastic with a couple of decals uh, here and there which you have to apply yourself as you're building her but uh, all in all the plastic colors are done nicely and uh, you know, I actually do a pretty good job of bringing out the character. I will say I'm not too sure I'm fond of the gray plastic used. I think she was more of a white on the series, on the game. But, so you know, that I could be wrong. That's just going by what I remember seeing. But all in all, yeah, she looks pretty good. And... She has a definite feminine, uh, feminine figure to her, which is nice that they managed to get that through the, all that bulky armor. Um, turn her around. Yeah, she has a lot of nice sculpted detail all around. And... As you can see, when you get her on the side, she definitely has that uh, more feminine um, arc to her back. And, you know, not a bad bust. <laughs> Sorry, I'm having trouble getting her to stand up. Um, you know, usually she has good balance, and she has some really solid flat feet. So, standing her shouldn't be too much of a problem. I was just having a hard time getting her balanced right. But anyway, I guess it should take a look at the articulation. So, she does have a ball-jointed head. Although, there is a piece at the back of her helmet that can pop off if you move it around too much. But she that so she has left and right um, some small up and down movement, but she does have ball joints at the shoulders. Well, universal joints at the shoulders. Um, she does have a little bit of an in and out, which is good. A bicep swivel. Double jointed elbows, ball jointed hands and wrists that pop off fairly easy, um, mainly due to the interchangeability. She has a waist swivel. Again, not a whole lot of movement, but it does make for a lot of nice ab crunch. You gotta be careful because it will pull the uh, like the lower abdomen piece apart if you're not careful. She has uh, universal hips and a little bit of a movement uh, similar to some figure arts. Not as, um, not as big but it is there. She has a thigh swivel. She has double jointed knees and ball jointed ankles. Now, given her model kit nature, it is easy to break apart the uh, pieces. 
So you got to be careful with posing her. But if you do have a piece fall off, it's easy enough to put it back in. It's not going to be too much of a strain. Now she does have options for uh, interchangeable hands. Um, which is simple, you just pop them off the ball joint. And then you can take another hand and pop it back on. Now she has uh, two fists. A left hand that's open, I guess for hip holding poses. And two hands for holding her guns. I'm going to pop the fists on her right now. As you can see, her guns can holster onto her hips, but they can also come off. The holding hands, you gotta just pop apart. Pop on and line up properly. And then just replace the uh, finger piece. And there she has a gun in her hand. But you just pop off the wrist. Pop off the holding hand. Rinse and repeat. And she's ready for a firefight. She also includes a nice little stand. You know, it's a simple stage. I uh, just plug her foot in, it's molded to go around the foot, and then, you know, she can hold, she can hold the stands pretty well. You know, not severe. Now the figure is a bit on the short side. Um, here she is compared to Marvel Legends Carnage. Um, you know, your standard uh, six, seven inch figure. We'll go with a more, like a different one, uh, SH Figure Arts uh, Sailor Mars. See if we can get her a little bit more even with Palmer here. We'll just take her off the stage entirely. I can't guarantee I'll get her to stand just because of her high heels, but... As you can see, even Sailor Mars on the ground is a little bit taller than Palmer. But only by a hair. Still, it's a good figure to have. Um, it's not going to scale well with anything else, but it is a cool figure to have. And I do like it. So I w and if you like model kits, you're going to have a lot of fun with this one. But I think that's going to about cover it. So, you know, I hope you've enjoyed this little review. If you have, hit that like button. Subscribe to um, see more videos from me. And uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. So long, have fun, and bye-bye.